Smart Extrude is a new feature in Maya 2026 that will change the way that you 3D model. Let me show you how it works. We all know how the old Extrude tool works. You click on some faces, you hit Extrude, and then when you push it down, when you're on the edge of a mesh, it creates these really awful looking non-manifold geometry slabs where you have to like delete faces on either side. You're left with a bunch of geometry to fix. It's just, it's a really, it's a big mess. It's a big mess and nobody likes it. So if you're like me and you don't want to deal with that, then all you have to do now is hit the Smart Extrude button which is right next to my face on this side, right here, where my cursor is. And then, like magic, you can just erase geometry as you go down. You can literally just take out whole sections of your model, you can extend sections of your model, while it interactively adjusts your topology. It's a really, really good tool for artists in Maya. So I'm gonna go over something else really quick that they do not cover in the documentation that I do think is pretty important. So the Smart Extrude tool is a little bit particular. Let's say that I'm gonna push these edges down like so, and I want to then select these four faces and I want them to cut through the model diagonally at the exact angle that their face is, right? Make sure that your move tool is not active by pressing the Q key and then hit Smart Extrude. Your gizmo is going to automatically snap to the angle that your faces are facing. Then you can just push it right through like so. There you have it, something they don't tell you. Really quickly, I'm gonna show you another way to use this tool that involves combined meshes. So you see I have two different cubes here. I'm gonna go ahead and select both of them. I'm gonna combine them and then I'm gonna hit the Smart Extrude tool. Now, just like I've shown before, you can fully remove this piece of the mesh just like normal, but if you end up pushing it a little bit further, you end up eating through the other mesh. There are going to be so many different applications that you can use this for. I mean, just think about the precision this is offering you as a 3D artist. So guys, go try Smart Extrude for yourself. See what you can come up with. You can follow me on Gumroad, Fab, CG Trader, Turbo Squid, anywhere that you buy your digital assets. I sell lots of assets and tools for developers and creators. But yeah, at the end of the day, I just want to share my experience to hopefully make yours easier. And don't forget to use 